Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing some iPhone 3G users how to downgrade their 6.15.00 baseband down to a lower 5.13. And the reason you would want to do this is because the 6.15 baseband taken from the iPad has GPS problems as well as it doesn't have the ability to restore to an official firmware in iTunes. And not that you would want to anyways if you're unlocked, but it does fix the GPS issues and this only works for some I say some because not all iPhones all iPhone 3G's have the 5.08 bootloader and if you have a 3GS this is not for you you can screw up your iPhone doing this and the only way to tell which bootloader you have is by following a method I'm going to show you in just a second but this does fix the GPS error as well as the restore error by downgrading your baseband and again it's not compatible with 3GS in some 3G's but you can figure out if your 3G is compatible in just a second so what you guys will need on your desktop is of course you'll need to know how to SSH into your device and I'll put an annotation up here and a link in the description that'll take you to my video that's a very detailed guide on how to do that and it's really simple but if you know how to do that, all you will need is the .cert file on your desktop, which a link can be found in the description. And it's for the 6.15 baseband because Fuzzy Band doesn't recognize that baseband. But on your iPhone, go ahead and open up Cydia and search for Fuzzy Band and go ahead and install it. You will not have to reboot. But once you have it installed, it'll be on your springboard and it'll look like that so you can go ahead and click on it and it will take a little bit to figure out your specs on your iPhone and in just a second it'll let you know what bootloader you have and if you're able to do this so after fuzzy band has finished my bootloader is too new it's the 6.04 bootloader version so I cannot downgrade my baseband using fuzzy band and if you're getting this error down here as well you don't have 5.08 bootloader version then this video is not for you and you shouldn't go through with it because you can mess up your device but for those of you that have the 5.08 bootloader version do not click anything yet because it will not work because it does not recognize the 6.15 baseband yet so what we need to do now is on our computer open up an open SSH server or just SSH into our device go ahead and log into your device via SSH make sure your device is connected and if you watched my video make sure you set it up correctly but go ahead and log in I'm gonna type my password in and we're in so go ahead and press backspace once on your keyboard and scroll down to stash in here go into applications and fuzzy band dot app now just drag in that dot cert file you downloaded into this folder and I already have it so I'm gonna replace it anyways and in here you will see ICE 2 and 6.15 Zero zero. So you're done here. You can go ahead and log out. And again, now going to Fuzzy Band on your iPhone. And it'll do the same thing. And when it's done, it'll be right back. And again, Fuzzy Band has finished. And obviously, my bootloader is not 5.08. So I cannot go through with the downgrade. But this is just for demonstration purposes. And for those of you with the compatible bootloader, you will have an option to downgrade your baseband and you can do that and your baseband will be downgraded to 5.13 which will fix your GPS issues and your iTunes restore to official firmware issues as well now this isn't for everybody guys in the future there will be a new way to do this with a 3GS in non-compatible 3G models but for now this is a temporary solution and thanks for watching guys please leave me feedback in the comments really know what happened guys if it worked uh, if you guys are having any problems just leave me a comment and don't forget to rate and subscribe and thanks for watching guys have fun